<laughs> Special Issues Committee meeting for August 19, 2024. Yeah. Councilor Smith? Here. Gear? Here. Alamon? Here. Sims? Here. Andrews? Here. All right, um, could I get a motion to dispense with the uh, reading of the minutes from our previous meeting uh, as presented um, and uh, move to approve those minutes? Second. Um, all right, motion from Mr. Armon, second from Ms. Andrews. All here, please say aye. 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 Um, all right. Okay, um, old business item. Uh, 1804 24 request to transfer all future sign requests to be handled by the Board of Zoning Adjustments. Mr. Smith, do we have anything on that or we're still working on? Kale. <laughs> uh -oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> no, um, that it, about the board uh, switching signs to BZA, are we still working on that? We are. We actually okay. we have an internal meeting tomorrow. Okay, okay. Awesome. Am, am I on the committee for that? I you are, but you haven't been called. We have not been called up to service yet. Okay, all right. Well, we will uh, carry that one over um, pending uh, the internal meeting and if you need anything from us. Yeah, okay. We, need to know <laughs> we do not right need now, to know. Do we do know. not need to know. Uh, new business 130824 request uh, for consideration of a new facilities use agreement to host events on the City Hall Plaza from Oscar Padro and Soho Social Soho Taco. Mr. Pugh. Um, yes. Oscar is here, um, and I think we already we already have this agreement in place, correct? It, yes, there is there is an agreement. Yeah, let me. This is getting a little confusing, I think. Okay. Uh, we have an agreement that's fired by the strength leads, right? Okay. So it's got to be renewed. Okay. But there was some discussion, and maybe Blanche can talk about this. I just know it's second hand. That. Uh, who is the entity that's going to be the new one? Is it the same one as the previous one? I think so. It's going to be Soho, right? Yes. yes. Well, Soho is not the one that's got the, the, uh, the facility use agreement now. Who, who it's, is it? Uh, it is. H and H Eats LLC. Um, that's Soho. Is that is that y'all's yeah. the corporate? That's the corporate name for because yeah. they, so they I, also I, have. I understand that, but yeah, yeah, yeah. What's so, on the deal with Soho? So I'm just trying to. Okay, so, the, so this, the second thing I want to clear up is that there was some discussion or at least confusion that so has Soho has a right to essentially lease out or to have events that's not associated with them as promote their business, like this CrossFit. It was never intended that Soho would be able to essentially have events other than what promotes your business. Right, like it, they're, they're having like a band party yeah, or something and like that's that. What it's provided for. Right. Or anything essentially that they're A third party situation. A cost is not, fit. I don't okay. think you're running the cost fit. Right, right. Um, so the third, the third party situation is something that is yeah. outside of the agreement with them. Correct. And the cost fit is to be approved. Separately. Yes. Okay. Okay. We, we we try to uh, we, we try to provide uh, wire with the information uh, for every event that we got going on. Every time somebody approaches us for the different events. Yeah, so sponsoring is one thing, but essentially running the event like the pole vaulting or CrossFit, somebody else is going to be to run run that event. Yeah, yeah. But instead of coming to you, if it's a if it's a third party situation, it's not something associated with the restaurant. Okay. They would probably need to come directly to us as okay. opposed to coming to you. Yeah, Soho was never intended to be able to give permission for the use of the right, yeah. those kind of events. Yeah. Only for your own because events. Because whoever running the event yeah. has to have insurance yeah. right. for the event. I don't think you're providing insurance for the people that are running the event and if something happens out we, there. We actually were the one that came up with the event. So okay. we, we reach out to CrossFit well, for for Well, up with the event is like sponsoring it, you're promoting it, but they're going to run the, the event. Yeah, the issue is who's ever running it has got to have insurance for the event okay. in case something happens. Understood, understood. But I am running that event. Okay. I am personally running that <laughs> event. Are, are, you, are you taking the fees and, and, and uh, entries? All, all, yes, we are. And it's all going to be donated to the Cancer Awareness Association for the kids because okay. it's it, September awareness. It, it was never intended that you could run the events other than for your own okay. restaurant promotion. Okay. Like Alex Again, said. I try to run everything to the council. No, no, it, it, I don't. It, it, no, this is just about making sure we're all on the same page. Right, we yeah. get it. 
the issue is that we need to know who's if, if there's an event that's being run out there mm -hmm. that is not just hey we're having a ban for the then it needs to come back to council because we have to make sure all the boxes are checked absolutely so that there we know that there's insurance for the Police event fun. we know that you're that, that we're handling that event the same way as we're handling other events that aren't coming through y'all and so there's a difference in someone's coming to do an event and they're contracting you know they're they're contracting with you to do the alcohol or whatever absolutely but but in terms of having a lease for the plaza for an event we need to make sure that we've got it that we've checked all the boxes yeah. and that and so I, no I think I, I, I think most I think we're only talking about a little sliver of events that yes. we're really yeah. that aren't falling in these other categories but we need to make sure that we're clear on that yeah yeah and, and for what I understood too uh, when we did uh, the agreement last year anything that happened should go under our insurance so anything that we try to do we know that we're liable for it and then we, we cover that with our insurance yeah, yes. and, that, and and that's that's exactly right, and that's that's what we need. It's just when when another name gets put on the event, yes. that's when we need to make sure All we're yep. we're covering everything. Okay. All right, so um, Mike, I guess we need to instead of a Soho Social Soho Taco, it needs to be H and H. Yeah, I've done that. I've done the thing using okay. H and H. I just want to make sure that's right. Now. Yeah. Okay. All right. Um, anybody want to make a motion? Um, I'll make. And so the new facility agreement is just because the other one has is expired. expired. Okay. Yeah, because they, they did have permission to do this for the yeah. last year, and so this is just replacing the thing. But we just wanted to make sure that we had all that. Right. Yeah, and I apologize because it, it was done last March, and for some reason we forgot that we had to renew it again. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so. well, well we'll get it done. All right, I have a motion for Miss Andrus and a second for Mr. Olon. All in favor, please say aye. 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 Five to zero. That passes. So that'll be in Council on Monday. And then subsequently, 140824 request for consideration to host a CrossFit competition on the City Hall Plaza September 14th, 2024, from 9 a.m. to approximately 1 p.m. Um, Bridget Alday is the event coordinator. Mm -hmm. And then Oscar. Are you handling that, Oscar? Yes. Okay. okay. Yeah, I'm totally handling that. And again, it's for a fundraiser that we're doing for the Kids Cast Association this month. We, we do assume all the liability for it. Uh, we partner with all the gyms around, you know, Homewood, you know, Vestavia. Mount Brook, uh, so they can come out and compete. Uh, and we do have a cap of like 40 teams. Okay. Uh, so that's just what it is. Um, who, who, who who, who is it's, 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 it's a type of it's a type of exercise. So it's like. Well, I understand. Yeah. 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 Oh, I don't. I don't. I think it's multiple groups. They're going to have a competition groups, amongst yes. gyms. So it'll be multiple gyms, apparently. So it's just multiple gyms. <laughs> I know I'm fat and old. <laughs> <laughs> you're not, you're not Iron Tribe. I don't think it, it's not one specific, so it's not like it's Iron Tribe. It's going to be a CrossFit exercise competition amongst different gyms who do that. <laughs> I think Oscar. Yeah, Oscar is going to sign the agreement. Could you demonstrate? Yeah. <laughs>
turn for me now. This building sits several feet off of the street. It's inside of the venue and there's gravel and seating right there. So people can, you know, look directly in there and stand there and anything too. And this is my double door. So that would be just the window and the door to cover it up so that people can't, you know, look into and get proprietary information from us concerning our cookies. Okay. Um, so we're trying to um, avoid that. So the, the double doors, I'm assuming those face green springs. Yes. And then the, the window, that actually faces the interior of the edge, so it's where the people are sitting in the tables and yes. stuff. Yes. Okay, gotcha. Okay. That's good. Um, so we were just requesting to see if we could um, leave that up, so, you know, it's cute for me. Oh, okay, is it already there? It's okay. already there. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, yes, because those are pictures, mm -hmm. obviously. Um, Wyatt, yes. remind me, because I know we changed our, our window yes. coverage percentage. Yeah, that's right. Um, the sign ordinance allows a 20% maximum coverage yeah. of each, each pane, yeah. uh, essentially. So um, this, of course, is 100. Right. And and can can you remind us the reasons that we don't like to have windows completely covered and doors completely covered? Mm -hmm. One of the reasons that the council kind of went back to several times was a, a safety issue regarding the police and maybe someone uh, you know hiding in there um other than that i think we're mostly aesthetic yeah mostly aesthetic now we, we do have a service window too that we're servicing customers that's next to this okay so that comes wide open as well yeah you know, I, I think it's just cars. um especially to me especially the, the part that really is is the doors in the front and i, I get what you're saying about wanting to kind of protect y'all's y'all's um, process and your service um, and this is a franchise out of California, so they've, you know, done this several times. Yeah. Um, I think so. Yeah. I, I just don't want to have to keep lines or something like that. Um, <laughs> so I have to protect their Yes. Yeah, yeah I, I get it, but that is, that's basically a violation of our sign mm -hmm. ordinance. Um, and we literally just changed that, what, uh, last spring? And it, made several businesses take their... And made several businesses remove yeah. that, um, so including a store window. It was, it, yeah, it was in 2024. I think it was, I think it was, yeah, it was early in this year. Um, so it's your baking process that you're trying to protect? Yes, ma'am. The ingredients and stuff that we do for our cookies. I mean, it's a huge, like I said, it's a huge, it's the size of the building. So we can, can we have, op we can have opaque, can we have opaque windows or we can't do that either? Or no, 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 well, that was part of the change. Okay. Yeah. The entire sign, including the background. Yeah, can only cover twenty percent. Um, but and blinds are allowed. But okay. blinds act as non see through, right? Yes. Right. But they can be uh, lowered and right. they can be lowered and raised. They don't okay. exist all the time, blocking one hundred percent of yeah. the site into yeah. the building. Although Ace Hardware is still more than twenty percent coverage. Well, theirs was done before we made the ordinance change. And so they, they kind of got creative with meeting the wording of the old ordinance, where, they're, yeah, where they're, their sign is no more than 50% of the pain, but then they sort of just did a, a okay, non-specific. Yeah, that was one of the reasons they changed. So they complied at that time. I got you. Well, I would recommend sending this out without recommendation pending a public hearing. Um, Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. so, long. Yeah. So, okay. so, so do we need to set a public hearing? Yes, and we need to set a public hearing. Which might, when would be the soonest that we could do uh, that? September. September. September the 9th? Yeah, just say when's that? No, not the 9th. 16th. 16th. And that's part of our motion. Okay. That's part of our motion to set the public hearing for September 16th. Okay. Um, I have a motion to set the public hearing for September 16th and send this out of committee without a recommendation pending that public hearing from Ms. Andrus. Second from Ms. Gear. All in favor, please say aye. 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 Close here. So that will be in a public hearing on September, Monday, September 16th, and that is in the room next door in council chambers. Thank That's you. And we have a grand opening October 24th, I mean August 24th. Okay. From 12 to 8. So we'd love for all you guys to come out and enjoy it. Okay. They are good. They're four <laughs> inch, really thick. Oh my good goodness. <laughs> and I'll sign up for the rewards. You buy four, get eight for each. 
helping us with this. This is for the 10K that, that we do here in Homewood. This would be um, the 2025 on March 1st would be our 10 year anniversary for the race. Um, it's been in Homewood every year except for those two nasty COVID years that we had to move it to another site um, that allowed us to do it. So, um, but we've been back in Homewood for the last two years. Um, we've started and finished right here in Soho. Um, that's the same plan again. Last year we worked with Officer Wisenheim on the on the course. Um, I think it was a much better course than we did the previous year. It kept everything on one side of, of Oxmoor. So, um, to my knowledge, no complaints from any of the neighbors. We I think did a really good job of alerting everybody. Um, so same course, same everything, the same as we did this past year. Uh, the only vendor that we will use is Soho Taco. They did um, just because their licensing sure. uh, makes it just easier for everybody to to do that and be in compliance. So um, it would be March 1st of 2025, the 10K race again. What's the timing, Jerry? Um, it starts at 7 a.m. 7 a.m. Um, which we did that the last two years just to try to make sure that runners are off the road when traffic kind of starts up. And sure. um, typically they're all in off the roads in about an hour 15. So about 8.15 in the morning, they're pretty clear. Um, but y'all will be down there probably till we, yeah, I think we mm -hmm. did the plaza until 10 a.m. Okay. Um, we do, we do the, okay. all right, okay. we do the awards at nine okay. and they're usually finished by 9.30. Most everybody leaves at that point. Um, yeah. They may stick around and have brunch at some of the places around <laughs> Homewood, but pretty much everybody's cleared out and we're picking up by 10 o'clock. Okay, in all right, the morning, so, so. so we'll say, I guess we'll just use those same hours. All right, yeah. and question, I get a motion. Around the licensing, that's for the, the alcohol license? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. yeah they them to they do our food. All the food, beverages, non-alcoholic and alcoholic beverages, we just use them okay. to take care of everything. Okay, motion for Ms. Anderson, second for Mr. Alma. All in favor, please say aye. 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 Five to zero. That is approved. And then 17, oh, next one. Yeah. 170824, request for consideration of potential condemnation of property located at 185 Oxmoor Road, Councilors Alma and Wolverton. Yes, we're looking at condemning 185 Oxmoor Road for uh, a variety of reasons. Okay, which is which what? This is the Waffle House. Oh, the Waffle House. House. Uh, the it's Waffle the House. Out Waffle House. Yes, 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 yes. That is wide open, by the way. I worked, drove by there the other day, and there's a the door just standing open. I drive by there every single day. Yeah. yeah it's really a constant problem. Yeah. And so it's been a constant problem with attracting, you know, rodents and other Vagrants. issues and potentially vagrants. And so I think that those are things that we want to condemn, right, and to discourage. Okay. So we're moving forward with that. All right. Um, or did Mr. Uh, please got to pull that up. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Resolution. Yeah. Okay. Proposed resolution. Okay. And has the abatement board... Has this is this? not a condemnation. Okay. No, this is a condemnation of the property. Ah, gotcha. Okay, so we're not, we're not, we're maybe possibly Is there a time?
period? Like, I mean, how long? Here's the process. Yeah, thank you. The company's got to be appraised, and it's being appraised now. Okay. Uh, once we get the title, the we make an offer to purchase. Mr. Almond and a second from Ms. Andrus. All in favor, please say aye. 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 